All right, just got out of uh, Optimum Force Speed Shop. Pretty dope place. They hooked it up. I got my 90 degree stainless steel downpipe, and I got an O2 port. So, hell yeah, I'm definitely uh, definitely gonna try to get this thing done by today. Yo, what's up, guys? It's been a hell of a long time chilling with your boy Sefi. Like, yo, man, yo, give me up the camera, bro. Give me up the camera. Nah, but we out here though. Um, Seth, what we about to do today? Um, turbo my car. Turbo your car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so pretty much what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pull this manifold off. It's fucking super hot right now because we just got back from coming from home, not home depot, it yeah, Lowe's. Yeah. Lowe's and Harbor Freight got some tools and stuff. But I think, I think today we could do it. Um, if not, hopefully tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure we'll do it tonight. I don't see the issue of doing it today, but I'm just trying to gather some things up, make sure I got everything set right, and uh, I'll grab the turbo and the manifold, and we'll we'll pull all this shit apart after it gets uh gets cooled down. Cause it's just super hot. All right, so as you can see, it's nighttime. Um, essentially, everything that could go wrong, go wrong, yeah, go wrong. If I can talk right. Uh, went wrong, so me and uh, Seth going back to Harbor Freight, pick up some shit. He forgot his wallet, so we gotta come back. We end up coming back anyways. But I need a sawzall to cut the uh, downpipe on the exhaust, and uh, yeah, it's, I'm I'm fucking not liking this right now though. I'm very annoyed. Ugh. So, we had some issues with the radiator hitting that piece there, but um, I did want to go straight down, but unfortunately, um, I may have to go uh, straight up. So, that's what we're doing now. We're just going to weld the exhaust pipe going straight up on the V-band. Uh, we're just going to tack it so that I'll have uh, my buddy Sherwin uh, weld that piece in so that thing would just come straight out. So, we'll end up taking off the, the hood, but... Yeah, thing is uh, making progress. The TV, and you watching Moscow about to do some loading for the first time. Yeah, where I'm at. Rock and pull. Yo, I completely missed the fucking where I'm supposed to do it, but I'm good. I'm good. Bro, that shit ugly as fuck. Bro, that shit's ugly as fuck. Alright, let's take three. I can't even see myself. Whoa! Too fast! Nah, hold on. Okay. So we just uh, tacked up the inside of the pipe, didn't come out too bad, but uh, that's how we're going to do it for now because I don't think there's going to be any other way for me to do it um, besides going out that way. So we're going to do it there for now, um, maybe switch it up later on, we'll definitely switch it up later on, that's not going to really hit, that'll be straight up just like that, that coolant holes won't be there. Um, I am going to move that out the way. I am going to wrap this as well with uh, some of that heat tape or heat wrap, whatever it is. And then, uh, yeah, from there, that should be good. Alright, so what a pain in the ass. My phone's about to die. So, real quickly, update. Uh, definitely got to switch this over because that's going the wrong way. But oil feed line is there. That is all set to go. Down pipe is down there. That's all good to go. Um,. And then just the charge pipes and uh should be good all right guys so it's been a long night um we end up getting the turbo feed on down pipes 
on there just got a weld the o2 sensor and uh we got the oil drain on there um only thing we got to do is put the uh get the holes for it and we should be all set to go it's been a long night we've been here for hours and uh i think it's time to go to bed so stay tuned and um and we'll see you guys tomorrow uh hopefully uh hopefully everything goes well yo what is up guys you're watching the sick gorilla tv and we're back at it again so um it is the next day from my first uh little clip that you guys just saw um right now i just got out of work what am i doing now is actually perfecting everything uh pretty much making sure all these are facing the right way um like this one's upside down um i do have the i got the uh the piping going into the uh the compressor um side good that piece is good just got to fix those clamps tighten those up um i do got to drill out the o2 sensor um put some oil down into the uh, turbo what else i gotta do not really much um left over i got the oil pan there um kind of rigged this up a little bit so that's there it is a washer on there but it is welded on all right so it's getting pretty freaking laid out and uh seth over here had the genius idea of taking the lamp and zip tying it right there dude it look that's that's exactly how you do something that's that's called innovation right there in the making so let's get this car done all right there you guys have it she's all boosted up um just gotta make a uh, down pipe or a, a dump pipe and we should be all set so sounds pretty good check engine light is on because why oh o2 sensor that's all right though um i got 66 yeah fuel pressure or oil pressure seems okay everything seems okay it's idling exactly where it should i'm just waiting for it to uh to warm up all those gases come out pretty much the metal is good oh you know what i do gotta tighten oh no i did i tightened it up um all the metals just gotta just gotta break in right so we'll let it run for a little while i'm not too sure if the oil is going through or not yeah it is yeah it is it's going through so i'm getting oil Everything's plugged in. We'll let it run for a little bit. But yeah. Alright guys, there you have it. She's all done. All ready to go. Just gotta break it in a little bit. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Okay, so pretty much what I'm doing right now is uh letting it warm up letting all the um all of the uh, smoke and all the residue just pretty much break off of the uh, manifold and turbo all that burn off uh, as you can see it's, i don't know if you guys can see it too well but it's smoking not oil smoke but just just that um just that surface smoke coming out of there but everything's all good i'm just let it sit here for about 30 minutes and uh We'll get back to it and see, see how everything runs. Yo, what's up guys? So, uh, we're about to go on our first test drive around the block. See how this thing goes. Cross our fingers. Smoking. have to put an oil restrictor on it
I do got to watch out for the potholes because the downpipe does sit a little low. Okay. Hopefully you recorded all of that, but we are on our first test drive. Everything seems to be going okay. If I could get my freaking camera to stay still. Come on. That was pretty fucking good. So it does spool at 30 after VTEC at three grand. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that sounds so amazing. So good. I'm happy right now. What's going on, everybody? You're watching the Cigarilla TV, and um, that's it. That's a wrap. We got done finishing the turbo build on the Honda. There is much more to come. I definitely want to do some more, uh, some more JDM stuff to it. You know what I mean? And um, the biggest thing I had to do for myself was get the get the turbo one because that was a huge step, and everything else could um, pretty much fall into place after that um exhaust uh cosmetic stuff and uh whatnot so pretty much um this thing is not over whatsoever um don't let the title fool you guys but i definitely want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and everybody who's following me on instagram you guys you guys rock um i definitely want to give a huge shout out to my big 24 subscribers you guys you guys made it possible for me like like how it feels to me for you guys to watch my videos all the time and me getting over a hundred views is is the best thing that that pretty much happens to me so uh, i definitely want to thank you guys so much for liking and sharing the videos um i definitely want to give a huge shout out to sherman with the blue honda his his build is completely crazy definitely an inspirational uh vehicle and a definitely uh inspirational guy um i just Thank you so much for helping me out with my welds and as well as your brother. Um, thank you to Seth with the 1988, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, CRX, that thing, that's, that CRX is another story. That, that has its own little video for itself. But thank you, Seth, for hooking it up, coming over with me, um, spending late nights with me, uh, helping me pretty much put this car together, giving me good ideas. And uh, pretty much, you know, hanging out with me. Thanks for that. That was a big support. I couldn't have got that done in the two days that we spent on it. Because um, definitely if I had done it by myself, I, bro, I'd be still here. Not even this video wouldn't even make, you know, wouldn't even exist. So, um, thank you everybody again. Um, there's much more to come. Please hit that subscribe button. Please share this video. To everybody out there, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Twitter, your Instagram, everywhere you can. Um, you guys, you know, you guys are the best. So thank you, everybody who's been watching. Um, I got my cat over there jumping, going crazy. Look at him. I don't know if you guys saw that, he's going crazy. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, my name is Pond, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.